this is a great example of a horrific story that came out to see photos of trash and a trash couch, all just what they are calling dumped on the street by myself and my family. I couldn't allow it to go on any longer because it's completely false. Tori Spelling slamming rumors about her housing situation. I learned at a young age to be like, okay, just keep going, yeah. just keep going. I just have really thick skin, but it still gets to you, of course, we're human, but you learn to build up a resistance, I think. The Beverly Hills 90210 star setting the record straight on her misspelling podcast about a recent report claiming she trashed the temporary home she and her kids recently stayed in. I have five kids. Uh, I have, you know, dogs, a cat. We have animals, and I never profess to be the cleanest, most organized person. It, you know, I'm always like, oh, you know, it's it's a messy, chaotic life. Um, but we lead with our hearts and I would never trash somebody's property. We see celebrities and we see, oh, it's glamorous. And we think, wow, their lives are perfect. Mm -hmm. And I just wanted people to know that we might not all live in the same place. We might have different circumstances. To support her claims, Tori invited her landlord to speak on it. I've never seen anything so ridiculous in my life. We replace furniture all the time in these properties. Um, I actually replaced three sofas in the last week. We're managing around 50 homes. And it's definitely not headline news. I was so happy to host you in multiple homes. Um, it's been a great experience on our part, and um, I'm happy that we were able to provide really good service for you as well. The actress says the accusation took a toll on her kids. My kids are affected. They go to school, you guys. These fake stories don't help. I'm very real with my kids. Yeah. I don't try to sugarcoat it. Um, I'm happy to tell them about my situations and what not to do if that can help them. While Tori is no stranger to making headlines, she says it's essentially the reason why she now has a podcast. You know, I, I've grown up with it. I lived through it. I'm living through it. You know, things like uh, we're homeless and living in an RV. Oh my gosh, the, the massive amounts of plastic surgery is just nutso. Things that are just so fabricated and false. But then that's why I started this podcast. I started misspelling because I was like, you know what? They're all so busy telling my story and making money off of it. I'm just going to go ahead and tell my truth. You know, the bad, the good, the ugly, warts and all. The next chapter is going to be amazing.